Hey, how's it going all you awesome people? You guys are top tanners. I'm Landon. You guys came back. This is a channel where I take interesting, trending, and crazy topics that you guys come up with. Some of them I come up with. We put them into a top 10 list for you guys' entertainment. Today, we're talking about the top 10 biggest earthquakes ever recorded. So let's start off shaking up this list. In at number 10, we have the 1762 Arakan earthquake, which is estimated to register an 8.8 magnitude. The earthquake lasted for about 4 minutes in Chittagong. It was reported that no buildings or walls built of brick had escaped either destruction or or serious damage. An area of about 160 kilometers square permanently subsided beneath the sea along the coast near Chittagong. A bar chara, the land sank, and 200 people were killed. Chittagong was said to have suffered severely with soil liquefaction effects such as sand volcanoes and ground fissures. Number 9 brings us to the 1611 San Riku earthquake. It had an estimate 8.9 magnitude that also triggered a devastating tsunami that reached a maximum height of about 20 meters. According to the older documents, 1,780 83 people were killed in the Sandai domain and over 3,000 horses and men died in the Nanbu domain. Coming into number 8, we have the 1869, this happened a long time ago, San Riku earthquake that had an estimate of 8.9 magnitude. The earthquake and associated tsunami struck the area around Sandai, Japan. The tsunami caused widespread flooding of the Sandai plain with sand deposits being formed of up to 4 kilometers from the coast. Despite a lack of the reliable sources, an estimated 1,000 people were killed by the tsunami. Rumbling its way into number 7, we have the 1700 Cascadia earthquake. The earthquake occurred along the Cascadia subduction zone on January 26, 1700, with an estimated magnitude that was recorded of 8.7 to about 9.2. The mega thrust earthquake involved Juan de Fuca plates that underlies the Pacific Ocean from mid Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada, south along the Pacific Northwest coast as far as Northern California. The length of the fall ruptured was about 1,000 kilometers with an average average slip of 20 meters. Number 6 takes us to the Arica earthquake. This occurred on August 13th, 1868, near Arica, which used to be part of Peru. It had an estimated magnitude of about 8.5 to 9. A tsunami in the Pacific Ocean was produced by the earthquake, which was recorded in Hawaii, Japan, Australia, and New Zealand. The earthquake caused almost complete destruction in the southern part of Peru, resulting in an estimated 25,000 casualties. About 400 aftershocks were recorded by August 25th of that year. The 1952 Kamchatka earthquakes comes into this list in at number 5. There was a major earthquake in the Pacific Ocean that was about 130 kilometers from the shore of Kamchatka with an estimated magnitude of 9. This earthquake constructed a deadly tsunami that occurred on November 5th of 1952. There were about 3 waves about 49 to 59 feet high. After the earthquake, the majority of the citizens fled to the surrounding hills where they were able to escape the first wave. However, most of them returned to the town and they were killed by the the second wave. The third wave was minor. According to the authorities, out of the population of 6,000 people, 2,336 people died. This is more than a third of the people. The remaining survivors were evacuated to the continental Russia. Number 4 takes us to the 2011 Tohoku earthquake that had a magnitude of 9. On March 11, 2011, this is more recent, this took place at 2.46 p.m. A 9.0 magnitude earthquake took place 231 miles northeast of Tokyo at a depth of 15.2 miles. Miles. The earthquake caused a tsunami with 30 foot waves that damaged several nuclear reactors in the area. The total confirmed numbers of deaths and missing is nearly 22,000. Material damages from the earthquake and tsunami was estimated to be about 25 trillion yen, which is approximately 300 billion dollars American. Making its way to number 3 on this list, we have the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake with a 9.1 magnitude. This earthquake devastated parts of Indonesia, Sri Lanka, India and Thailand. This disaster was the world's deadliest tsunami with over 230,000 people killed and half a million injured by the waves that battered the low-lying coast. The relatively shallow water where the earthquake struck that the energy released was equivalent to 23,000 Hiroshima-type atomic bombs. That is insane. Coming into this list, in at number 2, we have the 1964 Alaska earthquake that had a 9.2 magnitude. Also known as the Great Alaskan Earthquake, it occurred at 5.36 p.m. AST time on Good Friday which was on March 27, 1964. And this took place across the South Central Alaska. It lasted for 4 minutes and 38 seconds and was one of the most powerful recorded earthquakes in North American history. Soil liquefaction 
fissures and landslides caused major structural damages in several communities and much damage to property. As a result of the earthquake, 139 people are believed to have died. 15 people as a result of the earthquake itself, 106 people died from the subsequent tsunami in Alaska. And finally, we've come to our number one spot for the biggest earthquake. We're talking about the 1960 Valdiva earthquake, which was a 9.5 magnitude earthquake. This was also referred to as the Great Chilean Earthquake that occurred on May 22nd. The earthquake occurred beneath the Pacific Ocean of the coastline of Chile. Ground motion from this earthquake destroyed or damaged thousands of buildings. The Chilean government estimated about 2 million people were left homeless. There are many different casualties estimated for this earthquake as well. They range from as low as 490 to as high as approximately 6,000. Most of the casualties was caused by the tsunami in Chile and from the ground motion. However, people as far as the Philippines were killed by this event. Well, there you guys have it. That was the top 10 biggest earthquakes in history. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comment section below. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you guys all in the next video. So let me know what you guys think of this video. I know this was a tragic one. So let me know what other top 10 videos you guys would like me to make because one of you guys requested this one. So I thought, you know what? Let's do it. Let's educate you guys on earthquakes. If you guys want to subscribe to this channel, you guys should do it. We're nearing 2 million subscribers. So why do you guys be one of the first 2 million to subscribe to this channel? All you have to do is click that button and you're automatically subscribed. That's it for me, guys. I'm off to the next one. I wonder what's next. Okay, bye.